Hello everybody and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video and I've been doing a lot of research trying to figure out what the best spaceship to build. There's a lot of different designs out there but there's a tutorial that I've been following uh, on the forums and wikis and whatnot that will show me how to create the ultimate spaceship to get to orbit, land on the moon, all that fun stuff and that's exactly what we're gonna build here today. I'm just creating myself some room here so that way we can build our spaceship just like that. That should be plenty for now. We're going to start off with our space capsule. This is where our brothers are going to be living for quite a while, hopefully, if all goes well. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with putting a parachute on top of that. And then we're going to go with a decoupler underneath that. And then we'll go with an advanced SAS module, which is our computer uh, system there. And then from there, we're going to want to put a uh, f uh, liquid fuel tank just underneath that with a basic rocket fuel, fuel propelled uh, motor or engine just underneath that. Because this is going to be the device that we are going to use that's going to get us actually to the moon. And then we've got our symmetry tool. We're going to put this on three. We're going to use our radial uh, decoupler devices. And we're going to put these on the actual rocket as low as we can possibly get them to go. And the reason behind this is, is there's really not landing feet to get on the moon, you know, per se. Um, so this is kind of like an easier way to land on the moon according to the tutorials. So we want to use these angled wings here, these little winglets. We want to make sure we can get these as far down as we can get them to go. Right, looks like that was about as far as we can go. And if we do it right, these things will be just below our motor, which it looks like they are. Okay, so now we've got that. I had to do some tweaking to get these uh, radial couplers to line up correctly the way I wanted them to. So next what we need to do is we need to take those radial couplers and we need to move them up one stage and then we need to take the uh, the engine motor itself and bring that down one stage so that way when we finally detach this final stage we do not want to detach our wings we want to keep this as one whole piece when we're trying to uh, land on the moon that way we can actually detach these for the return home the the winglets that is for the return home okay so next we're gonna put a decoupler just underneath that piece there and then we're gonna need some fuel for the next section so we're gonna put four of these so there's one two three and four of these and then another uh, smaller liquid fuel engine just underneath that okay so now we're gonna go back to our uh, radial couplers but we're gonna change this to six here and then bring these guys to right about, let's see, I think, let me see, I think maybe right there. Let me double check this. Okay, so I got that tweaked, so we're good there. Okay, so now, yep, those will be good there. So now we want to add more of these fuel tanks just like this. So there's one set there. We can get these to connect here. Maybe. There's two, three, and four sets. And then we want the bigger motors to go on the outsides of these. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so now that we've got our fuel canisters and our bigger rocket engines, we need to stabilize these because during liftoff, these things are just going to rock and roll all over the place so we're gonna put some from here to I don't know let's go to the inside of here just like that and then we'll put some more of these going from here to about there there we go and we'll go ahead and put some up here connecting to about there just to stabilize this whole entire there we go look at that these things shouldn't move too much and before I go any further we're gonna name this 
uh, Operation YouTube. Let's see, Operation YouTube to the. Oh, don't have enough to it. So let's just do Operation to the Moon. <laughs> Just in case anything happens, I don't lose my progress so far. Okay, so we've got all of our struts. We're naming this Operation to the Moon so far. Okay, so we've got everything all situated here. This is a very uh, basic rocket that will get us to um, to space at least. Um, the only problem about it is, is according to the tutorial that I've been paying attention to and following, it's a very difficult process because what's going to happen is is um, we're gonna burn these rockets and that there's a lot of calculating as far as uh, where you've got to aim and all that sort of stuff so that's a little that's one of the things that I'm a little concerned about <laughs> but uh, for the most part this rocket here is what's gonna take us to um, to space and then apparently we need to aim for 270 degrees that's where we're gonna be working on our uh, trajectory to hopefully get over to the moon. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure our throttle is up to a hundred percent. Make sure that our uh, um, ooh, I just dropped my throttle all the way. I wonder how I did that. Oh, the X button. Okay, so the X button kills it completely. Okay, so there's a hundred percent throttle burn. Make sure that our targeting system SAS system is on. Oh, there's our RCS system. Not too sure. Huh. Guess we'll uh, have to wait and see if we need that one or not. But we've got everything all situated here. Alright, so, as I was saying, uh, let's see, we've got our uh, advanced systems, security, or um, all of our programming stuff on. We're at 100% on our throttle. Let's go ahead and see what we can make of this. Here we go. to the moon ship. Where we're wanting to aim is about 270 degrees currently is where we're wanting to go. So we're going to have to relaunch that. Okay, let's turn on our computer system again. Drop our throttle back up. Make sure everything's good to go. All right, so let's just get this baby in the air now. Okay, so we're going to want to get to about 35,000 meters above the Earth's surface before we start to make our turn into uh, heading towards right out there towards the moon. So we're going to get about 35,000 or so. That's what we're going to make our little turn to start heading out that way. Looks like uh, Jebediah is having a good time as usual. The other two aren't really too sure of the situation. 
I don't think they really are. Bob is usually pretty happy about things that's built. It's usually pretty, uh, pretty tense and not too happy with any of the situations. But we're going to let these engines burn to get us to about 35,000 meters. Because we are currently, uh, let's see, about 3,000 meters right now is what it's saying. Yeah, about, just about 3,000 meters. We need to get to about 35,000 meters before we start to crank our rocket over to about 270. Yeah, see, we're, we're making some good progress here. We've got a little bit of burn ahead of us, so that's not a bad thing. I don't want to speed up the time, though. I want to keep it. Because what happens is when you speed up time, a lot of things can go wrong. And it's better just to keep control of the ship through the whole entire process here. I really like how stable this ship is with all of these little struts that I put in. It really makes it for a very, very stable ship. This thing is not wobbling in the least. Okay, we're starting to break into uh, the atmosphere here. And this thing is burning straight up too, which is pretty nice. Now, whether or not we're actually going to land on the moon is there that's slowly growing so we're getting quite a trajectory going here we're doing a lot better than we have on my last ship that's for sure but this is somebody else's design though this isn't my design of a ship it was very hard to follow just because i don't have a lot of the, the more advanced parts but okay so here we go it's about thirty-five thousand. we need to turn off our targeting system and then we need to start turning our ship thrusters down a little bit and see if we can't get ourselves to stop twisting here. Oh, we're like spinning out of control here. We need to slowly get ourselves under control here. Let's get a little bit of boost going here. Okay, so we're, looks like we've just boosted out of those, so let's go ahead and get rid of these. Just like that. Now if I can just figure out a way to get myself into my 270 degrees where I'm wanting to be here. This is the problem that I'm having. Is getting this thing where we need to go. Going down again. Now we're starting to climb. There we go. Get this thing to stop twisting there. We're almost at our 270. Almost there. 
Okay, we're gonna cut our fuel. There we go. Nope, stop. Let's go back. We need to go back just a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. This is really difficult to uh, to keep it right where we want to be. And little there we go. 270. Okay. That's where we're wanting to be. Oh, we're slowly dropping it here. Let's aim it a little bit different here. Let's try going back a little bit more. There we go. Now we're somewhat on course here. Hopefully. If we can just keep everything in line. Okay, so we're slowly dropping here. So we're going to have to uh, kick this thing in gear. Oh, we just lost our rockets there. Yep, we're not going to get any of our boosters going. I accidentally hit the wrong buttons. <laughs> oh, crap. That's what I get for pushing the wrong buttons. But at any rate, we have got our ship that we're needing to get up here. All we need to do now is learn the controls for myself to get ourselves into space and then start learning our trajectory routes a little bit better. And hopefully the next episode when we come back, we will hopefully start getting closer to the moon so hope you guys enjoyed another Kerbal Space Program this is the ship that's going to get us there and hopefully in one piece we'll see you next time